This is your student level one terminology section for the weapons curriculum. So uh, with the weapons curriculum, we have multiple different weapons. So first off, uh, dagger or knife. Uh, this could be double-edged, uh, typically referred to as a dagger if it's double-edged uh, and longer, straight blade. Uh, and then a knife would just be typically single-edged. Terms are completely interchangeable, um, not a big stickler on that. So that's your knife or your dagger. Next weapon is your single-handed sword, short sword. Okay. Uh, this, again, certain, uh, each sword has its own name. I'm not going to go into all of that. Uh, for, for, for the course of this video, um, or for the purposes of this video, I just called it a, a sword, right? And then these are sticks, right? Uh, blunt, blunt sticks. So uh, next we'll move into how to hold the stick. So there's uh, many different styles of Filipino martial arts. Uh, within our specific curriculum, um, we talk about having a puño. So the puño is the butt of the stick. Typically we'll have about three finger lengths for the butt of the stick, for the puño. So the puño is good for hooking, it's good for striking, uh, and those kind of things. This I would call my cutting edge or my hitting edge. So same, same thing applies with the sword. Uh, this is a blade, this would be my cutting edge, okay? Uh, next terminology is about uh, the actual striking. So we have what we call a lob tick, which means if I get into my stance here and I swing all the way through past my center line, that is a lob tick. Okay, that could be a forehand, it could be a backhand, and it could come from multiple angles. Okay, that's your lob tick. Your next strike is called a wit tick. It's a half strike. So I just come here to the center line and return. Again, that could be multiple angles. It could be a forehand or a backhand strike. Your next set of terminology is an abanico wit tick. So this is a twist of the wrist. Um, that's how you're, you're going to do this motion. It's a very fast strike, uh, and it can be done varying levels. So the abanico with tick, the way we typically teach it here for, for beginners is I chamber the stick in an open chamber position on my shoulder, and I'm going to rotate my wrist outward and half strike. So that's your with tick, abanico with tick. Again, that can come this way, come this way. It could be high, low. It could be low, high, uh, and vary up the different ranges. So those are your main terminologies uh, for our student level one weapons curriculum.